Hello and welcome to St. Anne's. I'm Robin Sewell and I do the tours here on the first Sunday of every month. Today I'd like to talk about one of our paintings. Now, all of the paintings in the church are oil on canvas and of all the artists working on the church, well, they were all working under the direction of J.E.H. MacDonald. Now, right from the beginning, the artists decided that they weren't going to go with a purely Byzantine style to match the architecture. They went with a, a slightly later, more natural style because they felt that the congregation here would appreciate it more. Even though three members of the Group of Seven worked on the church, the one we're looking at today was not a member of the Group of Seven. His name was Herbert Sidney Palmer, and he was a very well-regarded artist in Toronto. He had 25 consecutive shows at the Timothy Eaton Gallery. He was a founding member of the Toronto Mendelssohn Choir and also the Arts and Letters Club. But he was primarily known as a landscape painter and he did many pastoral scenes. And he was chosen to do the resurrection. Now this is a scene that is not described in any of the gospels. Herbert Palmer has completely imagined the moment when Christ is resurrected. And here you can see with this wonderful symmetry how the tomb has blown apart and the rocks on either side of the painting are actually split and cracked. We see Christ stepping out of this with this mystical light around him and angels accompany him. Notice down below we have tulips, a symbol of the springtime and resurrection. And it's just, it's just a wonderful look at this moment, which is not described, only imagined. Now, this painting is actually 15 feet by 10 feet. And in the 1960s, it was peeled off the wall and taken over to the parish hall where it was cleaned. And when they brought it back, they glued it up on the wall again and made some repairs. If you look down below Christ's ankles, you can see a little ripple that runs across the canvas where, where the, the, one of the three pieces has been joined there. This painting is actually the second last in the story of Christ's life. And I hope that you will join us in the future when we look at some of the other amazing artworks here at St. Anne's.